Well, hello everybody, my name is Lena Nikoi. For today's video, what are we going to be exploring about? For today's video, what are we going to be looking at is about calculus and a math concept that I think is really, really familiar to all of you guys, which is probability. So, let's look at them and see how do they react to each other. How do they relate to each other? First is calculus. So I think everybody of you guys have heard about calculus before. So what is calculus? Calculus is about understanding and predicting changes in financial situations. So in finance, it's basically understand when and use to understand to predict the changes that happens in stocks or in investments, etc. So in calculus, there's lots of important concepts that could be used, but here, let's just list out some of them. So just like derivatives, which is something we're going to be looking here for today. So what is derivative and what is it importance to calculus and finance? So derivatives is basically in mathematics, it is used to measure how could a function how could a function change or like how could the output change when the input is changed so basically like it is used to measure how a function changes as the input will change and we just kind of like use calculus in that situation in derivative to measure how could a function change in situations like that and it's actually really crucial and related to calculus because it is some of the most powerful combinations to help us find them easily. We also have is finance. So in finance, there's a lot of interesting thing related to calculus here. So calculus here, we could we could use it as like a way to understand the sensitivity of assessed prices to change in market conditions. So what is it here? So it's used to understand the sensitivity or how easily does it changes and how easily does the asset prices to change in market conditions. Everybody know that market it doesn't just stay stable. And by using calculus, we can understand how can it changes in different situations. So that is it. So let's look at a quick example because I think all of us have got of what is its formula is and how do we uh, apply it in different kinds of situations. So here I'm just going to be showing examples so we got clearly about how is it used and how is it applied into real life situations. So in, maybe let's look at an example in finance. So an example of it is we can use calculus to answer this mission. How does the price of stock option change as the underlying stock price changes? So basically what we're understanding here is the formula is the price of stock option. And our input here, which is changing, is the underlying stock price changes. So basically here what we need to do is we use derivatives to measure how does the price of stock option will change as the underlying stock price changes. Basically like that. And, by, and how do we do that? We master this by using calculus. And clearly here is that we use derivatives, which is a really important thing in calculus. So that is an example of how we use calculus in real life, especially in finance. So now let's look at the second concept we have here, which is about probability. Probability is probably something used in every single aspect of life, from just like uh, weather forecasting or predicting like uh, the weather forecast or it could also be used in jobs such as like finance or um, finance or insurance or actuary. So what is probability? Probability helps us to understand the likelihood of future events. So basically like this, it's like, let's say we have the weather forecast. So 
we base on correct and accurate data. Remember here, accurate data to predict the likelihood of how will the the future events changes and how will it happen. So the big thing here is that it's going to help us a lot, not just in calculus, the skill we we're focusing on earlier, and also on decision making, which is something we face in every, every single aspect of life that we could meet at any situations unexpectedly. So it's likely that we meet it a lot. So how does it happen? As we know probability, we based on the historical data or on data of present, of the present or in the past. So that we could base, we could graph them out and we could use different theories to predict the likelihood of future events and how, how much percentage would it happen. So the basic, so the basic thing here is maybe we have like the coin and here, on the court, it will have two services, right? Which is the back and the front. So when we flip it, we have a 50% of getting the back and 50% of having the point, the front. So that's basically how this probability work. So the same thing happens with the dice. Let's, let's see, um, a dice has six faces and it has six numbers from one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we will have the likelihood of how much will we throw one, how much will we throw six, and how much percentage do we throw five. So that's basically how probability works. And yes, you can make probability in every single situation in life. So let's look at an example here. Imagine I'm an analysis. So what does an analysis do and what is the mission that I need to complete here? So the mission that I need to complete here, to accomplish here, is to assess into the risk of stock investment. So what I really need to know is I need to predict the risk of stock investment, to assess the risk of it. So how do we do it? First, as we all know, probability is solved based on historical data. So we base on historical data here. And how? How do we do it? First, we analyze the historical data so we have. So what we do here is that we need to analyze those, those data to understand the distributions of return. And also, lastly, after we've analyzed the data and the data and not the important point, our next part here is to use probability theory to model the likelihood and how likely will it change. So in this situation, we use the probability theory. So we will model out the likelihood, the percentage of how will it change and what would the risk percentage be. So this is basically about probability and it's actually something really helpful in every single aspect of life, including to understand the likelihood of future events and to predict the percentage of how much will something happen. So after this video, what I'll talk about is calculus and probability, which are two mandatory concepts in math that I think will help a lot in everyday situations. Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye. See you next time.